My name is Hugh Patterson, and I get asked all the time how do I how to use IPA characters on a Mac. I'm running OS X 10.6, which is a couple years out of date, but a lot of people, I guess, are still using it. Uh, directions may be different if you are using 10.7 uh, or 10.8. Uh, if you're using one of those, I recommend Googling and following the directions from uh, linguistic mystic and they maintain a um, I'm not sure who they are um, but they they maintain a, a well-documented thing so I'm going to run through a video that kind of describes uh, some of the same steps but on 10.6 so if you go to the Apple on the left hand side and you go to system preferences let's see here um, and then you go to keyboard international, I believe it is. We'll see how when it comes up here in, in a minute. So international language and text. Um, Click that, and if you do input sources, click import, input, not import, input, um, you're going to have a couple of options. These are different keyboards. I make keyboards of my own, and but um, the one you're looking for would be the IPA. Now. There's a couple of versions of the IPA one. Uh, the version 1.4 is the most current version. These versions change as Unicode characters get added, um, then the Unicode uh, character number gets changed in the keyboard file, so that it'll actually change the content of your file. So when you change when Unicode changes, you might just check back and look at the, the keyboard. The question, I guess, as a user is how do we install this keyboard? And that's what I'm about to show you. It's in a file, and under Finder, if we go to the hard drive, there's two places that you can put keyboards. Um, so I'm going to show you them both. The first place is under uh, System and Library. Or, I'm sorry. Um, if you go under, under, go to your hard drive, now in 10.7, 10.8, this is hidden, so you might have to make it, find it uh, under the view or go menu or something like that. But if you go to the library uh, folder, and then you go down to um, keyboard layouts, you can see here that I have that Unicode uh, IPA 5.41. Um, and so I just drag and drop the file right there. Uh, there's what installing it in this location will make the keyboard available to all users on that machine. Now, if you only want to make it available to your user, you go to. Um, we're still here under the the major hard drive, uh, and then we go to instead of going to the library, we go to users. Then we go. To your particular user, and there'll be a second. Let's see, I got a lot of junk in here, um, but there's um, a library uh, here somewhere. Yep, right here. It's going to take a second to load, and then down underneath here, let's see, there's another one keyboard layouts. And we can see that I have it installed just for that. So I actually have this file installed in two different locations. And uh, for you, uh, you, you probably only need it in one location. Just decide which one. I found that when I changed machines, that the one up here for all users was not carried over when I migrated my data. So I dropped it into the user because the user folder was what was migrated. That's why I have it in both places. Uh, to activate it, 
um, you would go to System Preferences. There's a button here that says Show Input Menu on the Menu Bar. I click that, and then what I get is this. Uh, let's see. Keyboard text. Um, right here. I have it under the flags. And let's see. So then I would go down and I would click that. Now, um, to insert, let's say you just want to find one small character and you can't find, you don't know which one it is. Well, there's an option. Um, and you see how I have this keyboard and character viewer. So what you can do is you can go to show character viewer and it's going to come up as a window above most other things. And so I'm going to open up a text document here. I've been scripting so um, let's get a new document for that. Let's see. So here we have the character viewer. And if I know what character I want, like this is going to search all of Unicode if I want to search in here. So let's say I want a barred eye, B A R. And it's going to um, search all of Unicode. For BAR and it's searching by the name, okay? So the the start of like each each character has a has a name. So it's going through and searching that. You can also type in a character here, like I could probably type just I, and it would find graphically similar characters. Let's see, B A R. And let's click. So here it's making suggestions. So uh, all of these have bar in them somewhere. And let's see. Maybe we set face and do an I. Here, did you see that? Let's see. Or we can do an ed here too. There, so I find Eth, and it takes me to Eth, and then it shows me the different related characters. It shows me with all the fonts that I have installed in my system, so I can just drag and drop it right there. And that's if I just want to type one. I find that it's easier to use the IPA keyboard if I'm doing a linguistics document. But sometimes if I'm working with a different um, writing system or a script or something, uh, then I might, and I just need one or two characters, I might open up this character viewer and and use that. So it depends on your frequency of, of use of characters and, and what you're looking for. I also use this to browse the Unicode's availability. Um, so like sometimes I, I use diacritics and I don't know which ones go to what, uh, or if there's a um, a simplified, or that's not the right word, but a, but anyway, that, that there's a composite character where it contains the diacritics already, so I don't have to use separate characters. Then I'll I'll, I'll search around and, and sometimes I'll I'll use this for that. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for, but um, again, there's two ways you can use the IPA keyboard and install that, or you can uh, uh, let's see. Um, use the, the character viewer, and that's this one right here. So if we want to say show the keyboard, let me just show you the, the IPA keyboard. I switch from the US QWERTY keyboard to the IPA, and then the and you can use this to the, the show keyboard viewer. It's coming here. Right there it is. So um, you can see that with the IPA keyboard, if I hit the, um, huh, that's interesting.
Hmm. Anyway, maybe mine's a... Oh, I remember what it is. This one's matched to the to the Windows MSLCK. So this layout is exactly the same on Windows as it is on a Mac. And the lay layout is a little different. I have a I, IPA SIL keyboard which has old Unicode characters in it. So I don't recommend it and I don't redistribute it. But, um, but yeah, that's the options. And... Um, 